hello there everybody. This is the filament corner. Corner filament, corner of fun. And I've pulled my old workhorse here out of the corner. Get her a little bit cleaned up. She's all dusty. And to show off some uh, upgrades I've been working on. <coughs> now, for quite some time, I have been a user of a Z-brace and of the Z-extension by Azza, I think that's how you pronounce it, A-Z-Z-A, -Z -A, over on Thingiverse, and his designs, they worked. You know, you had your front, your front foot that the Z-brace went through, and with the Z-extension, I used some remixed parts, but still, though, he came up with the original idea to extend up the Z. Now, I liked those, however, I did not like the fretted rod on the Z-brace, mainly because it got in the way. Because it was coming off the front, I run my filament from the control box instead of the top, because that does affect your prints. And... I was just tired of the fretted rod in the front. I couldn't find any braces that would move it somewhere else. So I decided to make my own. And basically what I've made is a Z kit inspired by Azza. And it basically comprises both his Z extension and a Z brace into one kit. Now of course the parts are different. I've made the parts, but I was inspired off of his original two designs. So, it connects onto the side, so that's how you get your extension, but it's also a Z-brace. So the fretted rod connects to the side and runs down to two base parts that connect to the bottom of the printer. Now. I've got it on the front, however, because it connects to the side, I can actually put these on the back of the printer. So I can have this fretted rod going on the back of the printer. And I will show that off here in a minute. So that way, I can choose whether I want it to be on the front or the back. And you don't have to print out a different Z extension part. It's just one piece for each side. It's got two holes, one for front, and if you want them on the back, then you use the back hole. I used the fretted rod from my original Z-Brace mod that I had on here. So, you don't really need any longer or shorter fretted rod. And, of course, it's using the 8mm, the same as as is. uses the same screws. Only thing is, you can see down here at the bottom, I'm using one of Azza's little screw screw holders where you can manually turn it. Uh, there's not enough clearance up at the top at the Z extension part to use those. And that's just because I didn't want to extend that out anymore. Because as you're extending out the bottom foot, <coughs> you will need to print it more and more solid to help prevent flexing. So I went with as far towards the printer as I could possibly get. So, with that said, I did make this where a lot of the feet design for as a Z brace will fit on the mine. There's two of them particularly that I looked at and we will come back right here in a second and I'll show off one set and we'll show off another set. Alright and as you can see we have it sitting on 
these dampeners and all these all this stuff will be linked in the video description and basically these help reduce noise however they do cause vibrations and I have since swapped over to another set which I'm getting ready to show however a lot of people do use these and they do work in reducing noise so I wanted to make sure that my brace was also compatible and as you can see it is compatible it sits on them just fine and now you can see that it has the other dampeners on it that I was talking about these are nice because they do not introduce vibrations but they do have less of a noise reduction so they're they're basically isolation spikes and they do work with it so if you notice the rim comes right up to here and they're pretty good I'm currently using those now instead of the other ones just because I had my printer about vibrate off the side of the uh, desk one time so with these it doesn't vibrate however it is more noisy and they do work for this so we'll come back and I'll have it on the, on the back I'll have these rods on the back and we'll see what that looks like alright now as you can see it has changed I have these up here on the front and these are actually from as is kit I will probably put together some of those but for the sake of getting this out there I didn't worry about that because as you can see they work just fine it just shows that this is pretty compatible for a lot of different things but the rods are on here they are on here so it's not that they're not there they are there they're just on the back so we will come back right here in a second alright so as you can see we have our rod and it's running from the back so basically we have a extension piece here that has two holes angled one for the front and one for the back and so all you have to do is you have to just print out these two pieces fit them on whatever side you want it on and voila you have your zebra so I recommend doing the extension first so following the same steps as you would for as a Z extension that way you already have this part on there and then whenever you add the Z brace you can tighten this red rod down then add it to the printer frame and simply slide it through this hole and tighten it down so with this you can go front or back in case you want to go front and you just want a Z kit all in one or you can go from the back which is what I was wanting to not only hide these rods just get them out of the way of the front so with that said as you can see it works it it's a little bit more difficult to attach these to the back it's just one of those trying to get the screws in through the back it's just a little bit more difficult for me than it was for the front I think that's because I had to swap these pieces the back and the front so it was either take them all off and have a frame completely apart or take off both of these and one of the back legs and that will cause most of the frame to not be completely attached which will make it harder however I do believe that if you are going with a stock printer it'll be much 
easier and simpler to attach these to the back or the front. So with that said, this has been my Z kit. I hope it helps you out. And that's it for today.